Amen. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Attend unto my righteousness, O Lord. Give heed to my supplication. Give ear to my prayer, which comes not from deceitful lips. Let my judgment come forth from thy presence. Let mine eyes behold uprightness. Thou hast proved my heart, thou hast visited me in the night, thou hast tried me by fire, and unrighteousness was not found in me, so that my mouth might not speak of the works of men. For the sake of the words of thy lips have I kept the ways that are hard. Direct my steps in thy paths, so that my footsteps may not be shaken. I have crowd, cried, for thou hast heard me, O God. Incline thine ear to me and hear my words. Show thy marvelous mercies, O thou that savest them that hope in thee, from them that resist thy right hand. Keep me as the apple of thine eye, O Lord. Thou shalt shelter me in the shelter of thy wings from the face of the ungodly that oppressed me. My enemies surrounded my soul. They enclosed themselves in their own fat. Their, mouths, their mouth has spoken pride. They that cast me out have now encompassed me. They set their eyes to look down on the earth. They seized me like a lion ready for his prey and like a young lion dwelling in hidden places. Arise, O Lord, overtake them and trip their heels. Deliver my soul from the ungodly, thy sword from the enemies of thy hand. O Lord, from thy few separate them from the earth in their life. And their belly was filled with hidden treasures, and they were satisfied with sons and the remnants they left to their babes. But as for me, I shall be, in I, I shall be seen in righteousness before thy face. I shall be satisfied when I see thy glory. Unto thee, O Lord, have I lifted up my soul. O my God, I have put my trust in thee. Let me not be put to shame, neither let my enemies laugh me to scorn. Yea, for none of, the, of them that wait on thee shall be ashamed. Let them be ashamed that transgress without cause. Make thy ways known to me, O Lord, and teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth and teach me, for thou art God my Savior. And on thee have I waited all the day long. Remember thy compassions, O Lord, and thy mercies, for they are from everlasting. Remember not the sins of my youth and mine ignorance. According to thy mercy, remember thou me for thy goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore will he set a law for them that sin in the way. He will guide the meek in judgment. He will teach the meek his ways. All the ways of the Lord are mercy and truth for them that seek his covenant and his testimonies. For thy name's sake, O Lord, pardon my sin, for it is great. Who is the man that fears the Lord? He shall set a law for him in the way which he has chosen. His soul shall dwell among good things, and his seed shall inherit the earth. The Lord is the strength of those who fear him, and his covenant shall be made known to them. Mine eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the snare. Look upon me and have mercy on me, for I am only begotten and poor. The afflictions of my heart are multiplied. Deliver me from my necessities. Look upon my lowliness and my trouble and forgive all my sins. Look upon my enemies, for they are multiplied, and they that hated me with an unjust hatred. <clears throat> Keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be put to shame, for I have set my hope on thee. The innocent and the upright have cleaved unto me, for I waited on thee, O Lord. Deliver Israel, O God, out of all his afflictions. 
Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy and according to the multitude of thy compassions, blot out my transgression. <coughs> Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my iniquity and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned and done what is evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the unknown and hidden things of thy wisdom hast thou made known unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be cleansed. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt cause me to hear joy and gladness. The bones that have been humbled shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and establish me with a governing spirit. I will teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall return to thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hadst desired sacrifice, I would have given it. Thou wilt not be pleased with, a, with whole burnt offerings. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit. A broken and humbled heart God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in thy good pleasure and design, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then shalt thou be pleased with a sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Let us, the faithful, praise and worship the word, co-eternal with the Father and the Spirit, born for our salvation from the Virgin. For he willed to be lifted upon the cross in the flesh to endure death and to raise the dead by his glorious resurrection. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The image of God was truly preserved in thee, O Mother, for thou didst take up the cross and follow Christ. By so doing, thou didst teach us to disregard the flesh, for it passes away but to care instead for the soul, since it is immortal. Therefore thy spirit, O Holy Mother Mary, rejoices with the angels, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Theotokos, thou art the true vine who hast budded forth the fruit of life. We entreat thee, O Sovereign Lady, intercede together with the holy apostles that he may be merciful to our souls. Blessed is the Lord God, blessed is the Lord day by day. The God of our salvation shall prosper us along the way. Our God is the God of salvation. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Thou didst descend to hell, O my Savior, shattering its gates as Almighty, resurrecting the dead as Creator, and destroying the sting of death. Thou hast delivered Adam from the curse, O lover of man, and we cry to thee, O Lord, save us. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Thou who at every season and every hour in heaven and on earth art worshipped and glorified, O Christ our God, who art long suffering, merciful, and compassionate, who lovest the just and showest mercy upon the sinner, who callest all to salvation through the promise of blessings to come. O Lord, in this hour, receive our supplications and direct our lives according to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds. Deliver us from all tribulation, evil, and distress. 
Surround us with thy holy angels, that guided and guarded by their host, we may attain to the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption thou gavest birth to God the word, true Theotokos, we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, most blessed Master, bless. The prayers of our most blessed Master, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Amen. O God, the Master, Father Almighty, O Lord Jesus Christ, Thou only begotten Son, and Thou, O Holy Spirit, one Godhead, one power, have mercy on me, a sinner, and by the judgments known to Thee, save me, Thine unworthy servant, for blessed art Thou unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself, our King and our God. Save me, O God, by Thy name, and judge me by Thy strength. Hear my prayer, O God, give ear to the words of my mouth. For strangers have risen up against me, and mighty men have sought after my soul. They have not set God before them. For behold, God helps me, and the Lord is the protector of my soul. He shall reward evils upon my enemies, utter utterly destroy them in thy truth. I will freely sacrifice to thee. I will confess thy name, O Lord, for it is good. For thou hast delivered me out of every affliction, and my eye has looked down upon my enemies. Give ear to my prayer, O God, and despise not my supplication. Attend to me and hear me. I was grieved in my meditation and trouble because of the voice of the enemy and because of the oppression of the sinner. For they brought iniquity against me, and in wrath were they indignant with me. My heart was troubled within me, and the fear of death has fallen upon me. Fear and trembling came upon me, and darkness has covered me. And I said, Who will give me wings like a dove? Then I would fly away and be at rest. Lo, I have fled afar off and have dwelt in the wilderness. I waited for him that should save me from faint heartedness and tempest. Drown them, O Lord, and divide their tongues, for I have seen iniquity and strife in the city. Day and night it shall go round about her on her walls, and iniquity and sorrow and unrighteousness are in the midst of her, and usury and deceit have not departed from her streets. For if an enemy had reproached me, I would have borne it, and if one who hated me had spoken evils against me, I would have hid myself from him. But it was thou, O man of like soul, my guide and my own familiar friend, who together with me didst make our meals sweet. <clears throat> we walked in the house of God with one mind, let death come upon them and let them go down alive into hell, for wickedness is in their dwellings in the midst of them. As for me, I cry to God and the Lord heard me. Evening and morning and at noon I will recount and declare it and he shall hear my voice. He shall deliver my soul in peace from them that draw near to me, for they were with me in great numbers. God shall hear and shall humble them, he that exists before the ages. For there is no change with them, because they have not feared God. He has stretched forth his hand for retribution. They have profaned his covenant. They were scattered by the wrath of his countenance, and their hearts drew nigh. His words were smoother than oil. Yea, they are darts. Cast thy care upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never permit the righteous to be shaken, but thou, O God, shalt bring them down into the pit of destruction. Bloodthirsty and deceitful men shall not live out half their days, but as for me, O Lord, I will hope in thee. He that dwells in the help of the Most High shall abide under the shelter of the God of heaven. He shall say to the Lord, Thou art my helper and my refuge, my God, and I will hope in him. For he shall deliver thee from the snares of the hunter and from a trembling word, and he shall overshadow thee with his shoulders, and under his wings shalt thou hope. His truth shall encompass thee with a shield. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the thing that walks in darkness, nor for the mishappened demon of noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou consider and see the reward of sinners. For thou, Lord, art my hope, thou hast made the Most High thy refuge. No evils shall come upon thee, and no scourge shall draw near thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up on their heads, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the asp and the basilisk, and thou shalt trample upon the lion and the dragon. For he has set his hope on me, and I will deliver him. I will shelter him, because he has known my name. He shall cry unto me, and I will hear him. I am with him in affliction, and I will render, deliver him and glorify him. With length of days will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. 
Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. The image of God was truly preserved in thee, O Mother, for thou didst take up the cross and follow Christ. By doing so, thou didst teach us to disregard the flesh, for it passes away, but to care instead for the soul, since it is immortal. Therefore, thy spirit, O Mother Mary, rejoices with the angels. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let us the faithful praise and worship the word, co-eternal with the Father and the Spirit, born for our salvation from the Virgin, for he willed to be lifted up upon the cross in the flesh, to endure death and to raise the dead by his glorious resurrection. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. As we have no boldness on account of the multitude of our sins, O Virgin Theotokos, intercede with him who is born of thee, for much more is the prayer of a mother able to incline the master into kind-heartedness. Despise not the supplications of sinners, O all pure one, for merciful and strong to save is he who condescended to suffer for us. Let thy compassions quickly go before us, O Lord, for we are become exceedingly poor. Help us, O God, our Savior, for the sake of the glory of thy name. O Lord, deliver us and be gracious unto our sins for thy name's sake. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Having been a sinful woman, thou didst become, through repentance, a bride of Christ. Having attained the angelic life, thou didst defeat demons with the weapon of the cross. Therefore, most glorious Mary, thou art a bride of the kingdom. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Thou who at every season and every hour in heaven and on earth art worshipped and glorified, O Christ our God, who art long-suffering, merciful, and compassionate, who lovest the just and showest mercy upon the sinner, who callest all to salvation through the promise of blessings to come. O Lord, in this hour, receive our supplications and direct our lives according to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, hollow our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds, deliver us from all evil, tribulation, and distress. Surround us with thy holy angels that guided and guarded by their host, we may attain to the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption thou gavest birth to God the word. Through Theotokos we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, most blessed Master, bless. The prayers of our most blessed Master, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Amen. <coughs> o God, the Lord of hosts and author of all creation, who in thine ineffable and tender mercy hast sent down thine only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the salvation of our kind, and through his precious cross hast torn up the record of our sins and thereby triumphed over the princes and dominions of darkness. Do thou, O Master, who lovest mankind, accept these prayers of thanksgiving and supplication even from us sinners, and deliver us from every dark and deadly transgression and from all the visible and invisible enemies that seek to do us harm. Nail down our flesh with the fear of thee and let not our hearts incline to evil words or thoughts. Rather, wound our souls with thy love that ever gazing upon thee, guided by thy light and beholding thee the eternal light that no man can approach. We may offer up unceasing praises and thanksgiving unto thee the Father without beginning, together with thine only begotten Son, and thine all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen.
peace from above and for the salvation of our souls. Let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Attitude our Metropolitan Tikon, for the honorable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. For the right reverend abbot of this holy monastery, our commandrite Sergius, with all his brotherhood in Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for this country, its president, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy habitation, for this village, for every city and countryside, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. For seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. O God, by thy grace, commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God.
thy spirit. The Prokimenon in the fifth tone, thou, O Lord, shalt protect us and preserve us from this generation forever.
glorified tidings of the holy apostle and evangelist Mark. May God, through the prayers of the holy, glorious, so laudable apostle and evangelist Mark, enable thee to proclaim the glad tidings with great power to the fulfillment of the gospel of his beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Wisdom, stand upright. Let us hear the holy gospel. Peace be unto all. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. tell them what things should happen unto him, saying, Behold, we go up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man shall be delivered unto the chief priests and to, unto the scribes, and they shall condemn him to death, and shall deliver him to the Gentiles, and they shall mock him, and shall scourge him, and shall spit upon him, and shall kill him, and the third day he shall rise again. And James and John, the sons of Zebedee, come unto him, saying, Master, we would that thou shouldst do for us whatsoever we shall desire. And he said unto them, What would ye that I should do for you? They said unto him, Grant unto us that we may sit, one on thy right hand and the other on thy left hand, in thy glory. But Jesus said unto them, Ye know not what ye ask. Can ye drink of the cup that I drink of? and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with. And they said unto him, We can. And Jesus said unto them, Ye shall indeed drink of the cup that I drink of, and with the baptism that I am baptized with all shall ye be baptized. But to sit on my right hand and on my left hand is not mine to give, but it should be given to them for whom it is prepared. And when the ten heard it, they began to be much displeased with James and John. But Jesus called them to him and said unto them, Ye know that they which are accounted to rule over the Gentiles exercise lordship over them, and their great ones exercise authority upon them. But so shall it not be among you, but whosoever will be great among you shall be your minister, and whosoever of you will be the chiefest shall be servant of all. For even the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many. At that time, one of the Pharisees desired of Jesus that he would eat with him, and he went into the Pharisee's house and sat down to meet. And behold, a woman in the city, which was a sinner, when she knew that Jesus sat at meat in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster box of ointment, and stood at his feet behind him weeping, and began to wash his feet with tears, and did wipe them with the hairs of her head, and kissed his feet, and anointed them with the ointment. Now when the Pharisee which had bidden him saw it, he spake within himself, saying, This man, if he were a prophet, would have known who and what manner of woman this is that toucheth him, for she is a sinner. And Jesus answering said unto him, Simon, I have so much to say unto thee, and he saith, Master, say on. There was a certain creditor, which had two debtors. The one owed five hundred pence, and the other fifty. And when they had nothing to pay, he frankly forgave them both. Tell me, therefore, which of them will love him most? Simon answered and said, I suppose that he to whom he forgave most. And he said unto him, Thou hast rightly judged. And he turned to the woman and said unto Simon, Seest thou this woman? I entered into thy house. Thou gavest me no water for my feet, but she hath washed my feet with tears and wiped them with the hairs of her head. Thou gavest me no kiss, but this woman since the time I came in hath not ceased to kiss my feet. My head with oil thou dost not anoint, but this woman hath anointed my feet with ointment. Wherefore I say unto thee her sins, which are many, are forgiven, for she loved much. But to whom little is forgiven, the same loveth little. 
And he said unto her, Thy sins are forgiven. And they that sat at meat with him began to say within themselves, Who is this that forgiveth sins also? And he said unto the woman, Thy faith hath saved thee. Go in peace. Bishop Michael, Archbishop Mark, and Bishop Alexei, Archimandrites Sergius and Gabriel Agumens, Leonti and Sophroni, Archpriest John, Stephen, Alexander, John, Daniel, and John, Hieromonk and Akanti, Priest Ignatius, Vincent, Michael, Paul, and Michael, Heretic and Mark, Monks Nicodemus and Kirill, Rasfor Monks, <coughs> Michael, Stephen, Stephanos, George, Paul, and Michael, Novices Andrew, Jeremiah, Pontalame, and Noah, Ezekiel, and Zechariah, Subdeacon Martin, Mears, John, Paul, Benedict, Richard, and Joshua, Nani Oana, Rasfar Nana Nufria, Matushka Kathy, Jeanette Catherine, Dorothy Alexandra, Abigail Elizabeth, Amelia, Gail Anastasia, and Rachel, Mary, Judith Ann, Patrick, Maria, Xenia, John, Anastasia, Eugene, Christopher, John, Anton, and Katerina, Matthew, Matthew, Mickey, Jim, Eric, Earl, Michael, John, Olympia, and Christopher, all the seminarians, faculty, administration, staff, alumni, trustees, benefactors, and pilgrims of this holy habitation and their families, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord. Servant Juliana, to share in thy sufferings, make her also to share more abundantly of thy heavenly grace. May thy righteousness purge away all of her sins, and when she shall stand before thee, a righteous judge, do not regard her works. Look rather upon her faith in thee, as sickness increases in her, so do also increase thy heavenly and saving grace. Let not her hope waver, nor her faith fail, nor love grow cold, nor let her dreaded pain or death cause her to cast her away, nor trust in thee, or to place it anywhere else but in thee. 
But she, may she persevere in looking unto the end of the end, saying, Into thy hands, I commend my spirit, and thus being an imitator of thy passion, may she enter thine eternal kingdom. We beg thee, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Elena, Archimander, Zechariah, Elizabeth, Reader, Richard, Georgie, Charles, Carl, Pat, Tara, Nina, Jesse, Raina, Tina, Lorraine, Damien, Susan, Ekaterina, Anton, Noah, Byron, Sherma, Jeremiah, Salome, Eli, Gabriel, Serge, Louise, Epidemia, Anna, Child, Anna, Emma, Priest, Philip, Joseph, Montesquieu, Gloria, Beverly, Lawrence, Ariana, Joshua, Machi, Michaela, Anastasia, Christina, Cole, Alan, Richard, Kevin, Panagioti, Barbara, Andy, Kathy, Richard, Victoria, Zachariah, Vincent, Nick, Nicholas, and Ina, and Guman Raphael, through thy grace and compassion, with all their petitions, forgive all their sins, accept their prayers and alms before the throne of thy dominion, protect them from enemies, both visible and invisible, delivering them from temptation, sorrow, disease, and granting them health and length of days. Let us all see the Lord, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. We give thanks to thee, O Lord, for all the good things thou hast done for thy servants, and this holy habitation will continue thy mercy to thine unworthy servants, and grant us benefactors to help us build a new dining hall to peasant for the monastics and community of this holy habitation. We pray thee, O great, the merciful Lord, hear us, grant this unto us, and show us thy great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Allow when they touch and seal for Peter's mother-in-law was sick with fever, and now thy loving kindness look upon thy servants, Archimedes, Gabriel, Zacharias, Egoman, Leonti, Archpriest, Alexander, James, Peter, Vasily, Yaroslav, Emilian, John, Dennis, Peter, Gregory, Nicholas, Vladimir, Daniel, Michael, and David, <laughs> Deacon, Georgi, Monks, and Cadimus, and Kirill, Sister Ivana, Mother Cassiana, Mother Vesna, Schema, Mark Anthony, Subdeacon Jonathan, Reader Ezekiel, Seraphim, Subdeacon John, Matsuska, Larissa, Rachel, Melanie, Tamara, Gretchen, Catherine, Mari, Mara, Julia, Anastasia, Kathy, Rachel, Catherine, her child Anna, Nicholas, Nayel, Sonia, Busam, Pamela, Bezet, Jeremiah, Virginia, Gabriel, Zachariah, Perskeva, Maria, Elaine, Ellen, Anna, Selena, P Archpriest Patrick, Seraphima, Philothea, Nancy, Correa, Martha, Archpriest James, Byron, Dennis, Peter, Diana, Arlene, Nathan, Sarah, Kathleen, Kareem, Orika, Elizabeth, Marianne, Alan, Gregory, Nina, Tran, John, Zachary, Peter, Lubov, James, Demetrius, Michael, Child, Anna, Carol, Anna, Anna Elizabeth, Monk, Trifon, Michael, Deacon, John, Alexei, Elena, Susan, and Christopher, and then loving kindness, pardon all their sins. Raise them quickly from their bed of sickness. We beg the Lord, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. We pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple, for those who labor and those who sing. And for all the people here present who await thy great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For thou art a merciful God and loves mankind to thee, we send of glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. To the Lord, ye catechumens. Lord, have mercy. Let us, the faithful, pray for the catechumens that the Lord may have mercy on them, that He may teach them the word of truth, that He may reveal to them the gospel of righteousness, that He may unite them to His holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. Save them, have mercy on them, help them, and keep them, O God, by Thy grace. Bow your heads unto the Lord, ye catechumens. Lord, Lord. 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 
us that may glorify in all honorable majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to ages of ages. Amen. All catechumens depart, depart catechumens. All that are catechumens depart, let no catechumen remain. Let us, the faithful, again and again in peace, pray unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Wisdom. Glory to thee, O Lord, our glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, mercy. Wisdom. Let God be the Lord, by thy might, we may send up glory to thee, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and in the ages of ages.
Canada, the Right Reverend Abbot of this Holy Monastery, Archimandrite Sturgis, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom, always and ever, and as the ages of ages of years. Priest of the Acting Christ, Monastics, his community, the seminaries, the faculty, the board of trustees, for all of our alumni and benefactors, and for those who helped this holy habitation, May the Lord God remember them in his heavenly kingdom, always now and ever, and unto ages of ages. <clears throat> Present in this country for all civil authorities, the armed forces serving everywhere, the sick, the suffering, those who need of God's mercy, especially thy servants, Rachel and the child Anna. May the Lord God remember them in his heavenly kingdom, always now and ever, and unto ages of ages. The Orthodox departed this life before us, all those buried in our cemetery. All the newly departed and departed brethren and benefactors of this holy habitation, you and all Orthodox Christians, may the Lord God remember you in his heavenly kingdom. Always now and ever and unto you.
disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you for the remission of sins. Amen. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Thank you. 
the days, rightly to divide the word of thy truth. Send down upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and safe as the task of the Lord. As this our Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. As this our Lord. Pardon the remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. As this our Lord. All things that are good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. A Christian ending to our life painless, blameless, and peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Asked for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. Amen. 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 O Master, that with boldness and without condemnation we may dare to call on thee the heavenly God as Father, <coughs> and to say. Son with whom 
marvelous, together with an all holy, good, and life, good spirit, now and ever into ages of ages. our God and part of the sea, and through it led his people, whom he had brought out of bondage in Egypt, for he has been glorified. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. O compassionate Lord, let thy holy body and thy precious blood be for me the bread of everlasting life, healing me of manifold afflictions. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Make me worthy to partake of thy most pure body and thy divine blood, O Christ, for I am wretched and unworthy, defiled by unseemly deeds. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O bounteous land, O blessed bride of God, though unsown, thou didst bear the ear of grain that saves the world. Grant that I may eat of it and find salvation. Thou hast established me on the rock of faith. Thou hast opened wide my mouth against my enemies. For my spirit rejoices in singing, none is holy but our God, and none is righteous but thou, O Lord. Create to me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Give me flowing tears, O Master Christ, to wash the filth from my heart. In good conscience purified, let me come with fear and faith to commune with thy divine gifts. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Let thy most pure body and thy divine blood be the remission of my sins, O lover of man, unto the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, life everlasting, and estrangement from passions and sorrows. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy table of the heavenly bread, that come down from the on high for the sake of his mercy and towards us, giving new life to the world. Though I am unworthy, grant me now to taste of him in fear and to live. Thou didst come from a virgin, not an ambassador, nor an angel, but the Lord himself incarnate, and thou didst save me, the whole man. Therefore I cry out to thee, glory to thy power, O Lord. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Made flesh for our sake, thou didst will to be slaughtered like a sheep on account of the sins of man. O Lord, extreme in mercy, I therefore pray thee, cleanse my iniquities as well. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Heal the wounds of my soul, O Lord and Master, and sanctify me fully. I am a wretch, but grant that I may partake of thy divine and mystical supper. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. One there is who came from thy womb, O Lady, incline towards me his mercy. I am thy servant, keep me undefiled and without stain, so that I may be sanctified, receiving the spiritual pearl. O Lord, bestower of light and maker of the ages, guide, me, uh, guide us in the light of thy commandments, 
For we know none other God, save thee, creating me a clean heart of God and renew a right spirit within me. As thou didst foretell, O Christ, so may it come to pass for thy poor servant. Abide in me as thou hast promised, for behold, I eat thy flesh and drink thy blood. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. O God, thou word of God, may the glowing coal of thy body bring light to my gloom, and may thy blood bring purity to my defiled soul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Mary, Mother of God, precious dwelling of fragrance, by thy prayers make me a chosen vessel, that I may partake of the sacred things of thy Son. World about an abyss of sins, I call on the unfathomable abyss of thy compassion. Lead me up out of corruption, O God. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Sanctify my mind, my soul, and heart, O Master and Savior, and my body as well, and grant that without condemnation I may approach the dread mysteries. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Estrange me from the passions of Christ, join me to thy grace, and confirm me in life through the communion of thy holy mysteries. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O God, holy word of God, through the prayers of thy holy mother, sanctify the whole of me as I approach thy divine mysteries. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Do not judge me unworthy to receive at this time thy body and thy divine blood, O Master Christ. Wretch that I am, may the communion of thy most pure and dread mysteries be not unto my condemnation, be it rather unto immortal and everlasting life. The wise children refused to serve a statue made of gold and went themselves into the flame. They mocked the foreign gods, and as they cried out from the midst of the flame, an angel sprinkled them with dew, saying, The prayer of your lips has been heard. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. May the communion of thine immortal mysteries be for me now a fountain of blessings. May it be for me light and life and dispassion. May it lead to my success and growth in divine virtue, that I may glorify thee, O Christ, who alone art good. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. I draw near to thy divine and immortal mysteries with love and trembling and reverence. May I be delivered from passions, enemies, want, and every sorrow, and grant that I may sing to thee, Blessed art thou, O Lord God of our fathers. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Thou art full of God's grace, and didst bear Christ the Savior in a manner past understanding. And I, thy servant, pray to thee, the impure, praying to the pure, cleanse me from all defilement of flesh and spirit, for I wish now to draw near to the most pure mysteries. The God who came down to the children of the Hebrews in the fiery furnace, and who transformed the flame into dew, do all ye works praise his Lord, and exalt above all forever. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. O Christ, my God and Savior, allow me, even in my present despair, to be a partaker of the heavenly, fearful, and holy mysteries, thy divine and mystical supper. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. We are now at the ninth hour of our journey through the great fast. Past the halfway point, but not quite to the end just yet. Perhaps many of us are feeling the fatigue of the fast, beaten down by the rigor of fasting and exhausted from attending more of the divine services than we're used to. On the other hand, perhaps some of us are feeling pretty good, having followed the fast strictly and being strengthened by attending a great number of the services. But in either case, we must strive to remain vigilant in our journey to Christ's great and holy Pascha. If we have struggled greatly in the fast, then let us remember today's first gospel reading and be like the repentant woman who anointed Christ with fragrant oil and wept on his feet, obtaining forgiveness and mercy. If we have fought the fight well, then let us remember today's second gospel reading, how Christ humbled James and John when they thought themselves worthy to be seated on his right hand and on his left in his glory. From both of these examples, we can learn that there is no struggle or failure that Christ cannot rescue us from, but also that there is no point in our spiritual growth where we can allow ourselves to be fooled into thinking that we've made it, that we've completed our ascetic struggle. And this Sunday is appropriately dedicated to St. Mary of Egypt, whose life perfectly demonstrated these lessons. In the telling of her life last Wednesday evening, we heard both of St. Mary's great repentance and of the the humbling that St. Zosimus received before her. St. Mary's repentance and the forgiveness and the grace she obtained in the desert should encourage us, just like the repentant woman from the Gospel encouraged us, by obtaining forgiveness at Christ's feet. 
St. Zosimus' humility and recognizing that there was one who had reached even greater holiness than himself should encourage us that just like Christ's admonition of his two disciples encouraged us. When we are low, Christ lifts us up. When we are, we are puffed up with vain thoughts, Christ reminds us that there is more for us to do and that we should never hold whatever authority we've been given over those around us. These are the lessons we must keep in mind as we draw near to the end of the 40 days of Lent, the solemnity of Holy Week, and the joy of Pascha. By the grace of God, we can repent of our sins and renew our struggle to subdue our passions during the Great Fast. And by the grace of God, we can also keep up the fight that we've been fighting without falling into pride. Let us thank God for giving us these saintly examples to learn from as we try to follow Christ's commandments. And let us commend each other to the task with a Lenten greeting, good strength for the fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.
Peaceful and sinless, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our Lord. Without our sanctification, unto thee we send our glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Of the fullness of thy church, sanctify those who love thee, beauty of thy house, glorify thy name, divine power, and forsake us not to put our hope in thee. Give peace to thy world, to thy churches, to thy priests, to all those in civil authority, the armed forces, and to all thy people. For every good gift and every perfect gives it from above, coming down from thee, the Father of the light. Unto thee do we send the glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Our true God through the prayers of this most pure mother of our venerable God bearing fathers of Saint Tikhon of Sudan, Saint Tikhon, Patriarch of Moscow, founded the sole habitation of our venerable father, the holy hierarch Basil, whose liturgy we celebrate this day, our venerable mother Mary, whose memory we keep this day, the holy righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, all the saints, have mercy us and save us for his good and loves mankind. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory to Christ. We you on this fifth Sunday of Great Lent as we enter this last week of Great Lent. Uh, technically, Lent is done on Friday, believe it or not. At that pre-sanctified liturgy, uh, we have kind of the, the last kind of hymnography speaking about Lent as we enter into Holy Week and Lazarus Saturday. So 
Uh, it's a wonderful opportunity for us to look forward rather than at the past, not at what we haven't done, but rather what we can do this week as we finish Great Lent. So let us continue our strivings and our consideration of other people and to be mindful of the commandments and mindful of the Lord at all times because really that remembrance of God and the forgetfulness of God is kind of the foundation of every evil. The remembrance of God is the foundation of every good thing. So always remember the Lord in all your ways, Proverbs says, and he will direct your steps. This is the task for us today to turn our hearts to the Lord, to ask for his help, for his blessing, and to do this constantly because we get it. That's how we get it. If we don't ask, we don't receive. And so this is precisely the way that it happens. We greet all of our guests, all of our visitors. Coffee hour following the Divine Liturgy. Everyone's welcome. From 11 to St. Anna, immediately following the veneration of the cross. Um, next to the icon of the Mother of God, I was actually able to acquire a few new relics uh, for the icon there. So there's, um, believe it or not, um, the cincture of the Mother of God, the veil of the Mother of God, clothing from the Mother of God, a hair from the Mother of God, and a rock from her tomb in Gethsemane. So that's what those new relics are there uh, underneath she who is quick to hear. Uh, if you're wondering, the garage is gone. I apologize if you miss it, but uh, we're going to be putting um, uh, a garden there and a pathway from the iconography studio. The, the code is actually that the the parking pad has to be on the other side, so we're moving the parking pad. There'll be four spots on the other side in front of the Icon studio. And then we'll take out all this asphalt this week and plant a garden. Hopefully by next week or two, uh, we'll have that in process. So keep that in your prayers, but it'll be, it kind of opens up the entire area, which is a wonderful thing. So uh, we give thanks to God that we know people that can do that. I was actually working the machine myself, but it's pretty dangerous. <laughs> so I only did it for a little while, and then I gave up because it was just too big and too heavy and a little scary. So uh, welcoming all of our guests, especially uh, those who are here for Father Seraphim's ordination. Congratulations, Father Seraphim. Yesterday was ordained to the Holy Priesthood. Congratulations to you and to your family. Many years for you. And Formerly, Father Cyprian, now Father Saproni, was tonsured on Friday evening to the small schema, so we congratulate him and uh, wish him the very best and ultimately that God save him in that angelic schema. So congratulations to you both and to all those who celebrate names, days, birthdays, and anniversaries. I guess it's the after feast of your birthday, right, Nectaria? So congratulations to you on your birthday. I want to kind of play it up a little bit since you're never here. I thought since you're here, we'll, we'll kind of uh, do it before, during, and after. So we'll also sing many years for you, too, as well. Grant to the Lord, long life, peace, and salvation, and the brothers of all good things. Whose baptism, our small teacher, our brother, and our sisters, the seminary, and the faculty. Order trustees for all of our alumni and benefactors into thy servants. The newly tonsured woman, Saproni. The newly ordained priest, Seraphim, and Matos Kirbut and their families. For Nectaria, who celebrates her birthday, and to all of us who celebrate names, days, birthdays, and anniversaries, and protect and preserve them for many blessed years. God grant to Not rejected me a sinner, but has made me worthy to be partaker of thy holy things. I thank thee, for thou hast permitted me, the unworthy, to commune with thy most pure and heavenly gifts. But, O Master, who lovest mankind, who for our sakes didst die and rise again, and gave us these dread and life giving mysteries for the good and sanctification of our souls and bodies, let them be for the healing of our soul and body, the repelling of every adversary, the illumining of the eyes of my heart, the peace of my spiritual powers, of faith and a shame, a love unfeigned, the fullness of wisdom the observing of thy commandments, the receiving of thy divine grace, and the attaining of thy kingdom. Preserved by them in thy holiness, may I always remember thy grace and live no longer for myself, but for thee, our master and benefactor, passing from this life in the hope of eternal life, 
May I attain to the everlasting rest where the voice of those who feast is unceasing and the sweetness of those who behold the ineffable beauty of thy countenance is unending. Thou art the true desire and the ineffable joy of those who love thee. O Christ our God, and all creation sings thy praise forever. Amen. O Master Christ our God, King of the ages, maker of all things, I thank thee for all the good things thou hast given me, especially for the communion of thy most pure and life-giving mysteries. I therefore pray thee, O gracious lover of man, preserve me under thy protection, beneath the shadow of thy wings, enable me, even to my last breath, to partake worthily and with a pure conscience of thy holy things, for the remission of sins unto life eternal. For thou art the bread of life, the fountain of holiness, the giver of all good, and to thee we send up glory with the Father and his Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Freely thou hast given me thy body for my food, O thou who art of fire consuming the unworthy, let me not be consumed, O my Creator, but instead enter into my joints, all my members, my reins, my heart, consume the thorns of my transgressions, cleanse my soul and sanctify my reasonings, make firm my joints and bones, illumine my five senses, nail down the whole of me to the fear of thee, always protect, guard, and keep me from soul-destroying words and deeds, cleanse me, purify me, and adorn me, give me beauty, understanding, and illumination, show me to be the dwelling of thy spirit alone and not the dwelling of sin. May every evil deed, every carnal passion flee from me as from a fire, as I become thy house through communion. I are for thee as intercessors of all the saints, the leaders of the bodiless host, the forerunner, the wise apostles, and thy pure and blameless mother. Accept their prayers and thy love, O my Christ, and make me thy servant a child of light. For thou art the only sanctification and brightness of our souls, O good one, and to thee our master and our God do we send up glory day by day. O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, let thy holy body and might be my eternal life and thy precious blood my remission of sins. Let this Eucharist be my joy, health, and gladness. Make me, whom a sinner, unworthy to stand at the right hand of thy glory at thy dread second coming through the prayers of thy most pure mother of all the saints. O most holy lady, Theotokos, the light of my darkened soul, my hope, my protection, my refuge, my rest, and my joy. I thank thee, for although I am unworthy, thou hast made me worthy to be our partaker of the most pure body and precious blood of thy Son. Give the light of understanding to the eyes of my heart, thou that gavest birth to the true light, enliven me whom dead in by sin, thou that gavest birth to the fountain of immortality. Have mercy on me, O loving mother of the merciful God. Grant me compunction and contrition of heart, humility in my thoughts, and a release from the slavery of my own reasonings. And make me worthy, even to my last breath, to receive uncondemned the sanctification of the most pure mysteries for the healing of soul and body. Grant me tears of repentance and confession that I may praise and glorify thee all the days of my life. For thou art blessed and greatly glorified forever. Amen. Lord, now let us thou, thy servant, depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to enlighten the Gentiles and the glory of all thy people, Israel. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Thy proclamation has gone out into all the earth, which was divinely taught by hearing thy voice. Thou didst expound the natures of creatures and didst ennoble the manners of men. O venerable Father of the world, peacehood, entreat Christ our God that our souls may be saved. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou wast revealed as a sure foundation of the church, granting all men a lordship which cannot be taken away, sealing it with thy precepts, O venerable Basil, revealer of heaven, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Steadfast protectors of Christians, constant advocate before the Creator, despise not the cries of us sinners, but in thy goodness come speedily to help us who call on thee in faith. Hasten to hear our petition and to intercede for us, O Theotokos, for thou dost protect those who honor thee. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. 
more honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption thou gavest birth to God the Word. Truth, Heotokos, we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, most blessed Master, bless.